Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Nancy Pelosi is arrogant. Of that, there is no doubt. She's also newly powerful after years in the Washington wilderness. And she's up to mischief with her new powers too. She's ordering her goons in Congress to go after the state of Texas despite clear constitutional separation between the state and Congress. Thankfully, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is not having it from the Washington Times. Texas is asserting its sovereign immunity against Congress, telling Democrats on two congressional committees this week that the state has no obligation to comply with their investigative demands. Attorney General Ken Paxton's office says that as a state with sovereign powers under the Constitution, Texas can't be treated like a federal agency or cabinet secretary who can't be compelled to comply. Texas does not draw its authority from the United States or the United States Constitution, but from its status as a dual sovereign within the Union. Jeffrey C. Matier, first Assistant Attorney General, wrote in a letter Monday to the House Oversight and Reform Committee. Mr. Matier fired off a similar letter Wednesday to the House Ways and Means Committee rebuffing its attempts, saying the state wouldn't stand to be treated like a subdivision of the federal government or a private citizen. Granting Congress the power to exercise oversight over the constitutional officers of the state engaged in lawful exercise of that state's core authority would undermine the fabric of our system of dual sovereignty, Mr. Matier wrote. Texas is objecting to Democrats' requests for documents probing the state's effort to clean up its voter rolls and documents detailing the state's effort to protect faith-based adoption and foster care providers against an Obama-era rule about working with same-sex couples. The clash would break new legal ground. Ken Cuccinelli a former Republican Attorney General in Virginia, said he never encountered the situation during his time in office, but he added that two constitutional principles are at stake, the sovereignty of states and the supremacy clause, which gives the federal government an edge in clashes with states. He said Texas makes a strong case in its letters for why it will prevail. Congress doesn't get to do oversight over states, period. Nor can they compel action by state officers, he said. If I were a betting man, I'd take Texas and give two touchdowns on this one. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.